Okay. Building your dynamic business plan. Now, when you have a business idea, of course, it's in little pieces. And I have an illustration of pieces to the puzzle. Um, and as you formulate your business plan, we begin to put all the pieces together. And then after we're done, we have a plan that we can move forward with. Now, the objective of your plan, um, I always recommend that you write down your big ideas, no matter how crazy they may sound or uh, a lot of times uh, I'm a visionary, so God shows me a big plan and, and, and where I am today, there's no way possible that that plan can uh, definitely happen. But what I've learned to do is write down the big plan. And then I've noticed that throughout my life, I've gotten the different pieces to that plan. And, and during those stages, I'm actually ready and prepared and have all the resources that I need to uh, do that portion in that season and then in time. I also, um, the reason why I suggest to write down your bigger plan is because you start to build a legacy. And my daughter's on here today. And so I am building a business that can be passed down to her and then be passed down to her children. So your plan, some plans supersede where you are right now. And so don't be afraid to uh, structure it in that plan in that way that you can pass it down. Or, you know, it may not be your children. Um, it could be, um, you could sell your business off to another company and then they take your plans and, and it extends for decades. And it just reminds me of a story, uh, you know, David um, wanted to build a temple for God, but God told him, it's like, you're not going to be the one to build it. Your son will build it. So you write out the plans um, that, you know, is in your heart or comes to mind. And then some of those plans you will build and some of those plans will uh, be so detailed that someone else can come along and build your plan.